we want to show you something that's called myofascial unwinding that we teach all of our patients to uh, do themselves. It's basically your inner self taking care of yourself. If you ever noticed a cat in the morning, or any animal, have you ever noticed how they stretch? Have you ever noticed how you instinctively stretch? And as you stretch, if you would keep it up, you would notice there's a motion there. So I'm going to ask Lori just to stretch. Maybe you want to try this yourselves. You can stand or sit. And as you stretch, just notice within that stretch is a motion. It's almost like you're beginning to fall into space. That's your direction of ease. Trust it. Go with it. So pretend like you're telescoping or elongating. And allow your body, your spine, your head, your neck to go wherever it feels right. And there'll be times when you stop. And when you stop, that's where the restriction is. Your body knows where it is. So your body-mind complex can really take care of you with these techniques. And you stop and wait until you get that sense of elongation, like butter melting or taffy stretching. You never force. This is not something you're consciously doing except the stretch part. You let the deeper part of you take care of yourself now. It's very graceful. It's like a form of dance in a way. This is how animals take care of themselves and this is how we wish should really take care of ourselves too. So this will greatly complement your exercise programs, your therapeutic programs, it can be done seated, standing, lying, lying. Nice place to do it is on a bed. And sometimes you find yourself arching over the bed. You even might end up on the floor on the car carpeted floor. Another nice way is to do it with music. And just kind of flow with the music. Remember your breathing. Breathe with it, especially when you get to a stuck spot or a kind of a painful spot. Don't think a lot. Just breathe with it. And give yourself permission to soften. Sometimes you do this with your therapist. Your body will be showing you where your therapist needs to do the myofascial release techniques, and he can enhance that, or she can enhance that for you. But you can do this on your own. It's a very valuable way. And my suggestion to you, as you get better, is to keep this up as a regular routine. Do it as regularly as brushing your teeth. It's a wonderful form of fitness, of flexibility. Awarenesses will come up, insights, because it's truly tuning into the mind-body complex, allowing you to heal yourselves. Now, Lori, maybe you want to lie down and just show them how they might do that if they were lying. <clears throat> so again, the key is the stretch. There is an effect that's called the piezoelectric effect. And when your therapist or you put pressure into the fascial system or you stretch it, it seems to enhance to enhance the bioenergy flow of the body. And you just let your body go where it seems to want to go the easiest. And wherever it feels like you want to stretch, just maintain that elongation and let your body do the job for you. It's okay to make noise with it once in a while. Sometimes it's okay to groan. Get some of that sound out. You've been hurting for a long time. Breathe into it. If your therapist was with you, they could begin to help you to stretch. Just picture yourself this long piece of plastic or taffy that's stretching out, long, out, longer and longer, breathing with it, letting go. It's literally a flow. As long as that motion is coming from your inner self, you'll never injure yourself. 
You don't need to think. The quieter you are, the better you feel. This motion can be incorporated as you get a little better with all of the techniques we've just shown you. And the more fluid you are with these techniques, the better. So it's first good to start them as a technique. And then after a while, initiate the technique and let your body, your mind, take a mind over. Now, what I'm going to ask Lori to do in a few moments is stand up and we'll show you what we call a star unwinding, which is you'll be standing and you kind of look like a star with all the points stretching out. You elongate your legs, you elongate your trunk and your neck, stretch out your arms, stretch everything possible, and then let go and almost like you're falling, like you're into space and you're breathing with it. Enjoy the stretch. It's kind of a good hurt. It feels right. Again, never forcing. I suggest every suggest everybody do this. You can teach children to do it. They learn instantaneously. They love it. Make a game out of it. So if your child is having a problem, tell them that they're Tinkerbell or a gymnast, a ballerina, and teach them how to stretch into it. Make it fun. Make it a game. You can do it as a family. Do it with music. It's great fun. Just let go. So as long as you are doing this from your inner self, that inner core, even though it hurts, it's what we call a therapeutic pain. It does not injure. Sometimes that discomfort is necessary for the proper stretch. It's when we forcibly try to do things consciously that people tend to injure themselves. So the therapeutic pain has great value. It's not that we want you to hurt, but sometimes it's a necessary part of the healing process. It's called the healing crisis, which means you may get a little sore if after some of these techniques or some of your treatments for a day or two or even three. No injury's been done. It's just part of the healing crisis. We have to get a little worse sometimes before we get better. We don't get better right away. Please keep in mind you'll take two steps forward and one back. You've had a lot of negative patterns in your body, probably there for quite a long time. And those negative patterns have been protecting you. So as your physician begins to introduce more positive patterns, you'll begin to have periods of relief. But again, it's like a zigzag. It's like a roller coaster. Those negative patterns are very strong and they'll overwhelm the newer positive patterns for a while. But as time goes on, the positive patterns will get stronger and stronger. You'll continue to improve and you will find that you'll be able to take over your own responsibility with this and take care of yourself eventually. So you'll become independent. You'll become healthy again. You can do it. Don't give up. Never give up. Stick with it. You're going to be okay. Just stick with it and take your therapist advice and follow as closely as you can. Thank you very much. I want to thank Lori for helping Lori for us out today. She's a wonderful therapist. And I want to thank you very much and I encourage you to stick with it. Do the best you can. And I wish